finally gonna open up our coffee machine. Yeah. Oh! budget we spent good morning you guys what is up welcome back to another vlog i'm trying to keep quiet because things are cool in the other room but welcome back to another moving vlog the moving chronicles continue it has been such a whirlwind of a time if you haven't caught my last few vlogs we moved in into our new house over the weekend we've been building this house for the last 18 months so we're finally in making this house a home it's starting to come together we still have a lot of unpacking and a lot of organizing to do everything is still pretty much in boxes um we got the keys on what well, thursday night technically but we didn't really get into the house until late on friday and then just basically been moving stuff over all weekend like saturday sunday um and then i had work yesterday so <laughs> i feel like i just haven't had time to catch my breath i'm feeling so tired but like so happy i don't Things are starting to come together. I have a lot of updates for you guys, but I really need to edit my vlog so I can get that up tonight for you guys. Um, yeah. We also have our bed being delivered at some point. I think our delivery window is between now and 12 o'clock, so it should be coming in the next little bit. Um, and then I think my dad's gonna pop around and help us set it up. I think that will just transform our bedroom because we've just been sleeping on the mattress on the floor. So to actually have a proper bed, um, I can't wait to see that and we have our bedside tables we need to put together we have a new coffee machine that i haven't set up yet the kitchen is basically untouched like i haven't really unpacked anything other than the pantry and a couple of utensils so i really need to tackle that today i also need to go back to our old house at some point to um clean <laughs> normally at the end of our other leases we've gotten a bond cleaner in but to be honest, the house is in like pretty good condition. It just needs a good clean. I don't know. It just didn't seem worth it to me. We've only been living there for six months. Um, so we're just going to do it ourselves and fingers crossed. It's fine. But yeah, I have a ton of editing still to do. So I'm going to get to that. There's still a bunch of tradies hanging around as well. Um, so if you hear some noises in the background, that's that. They're all in the backyard, front yard, here, there and everywhere. <laughs> There's still a few things in the house that need to be touched up. But it's mostly just the outside, which is fine. Um, so can't wait for it to actually be done to have a real functional working backyard <laughs> just to go out there and not have random people around all the time but it's fine they're really lovely they're all really lovely so it's all good so casually keep diving into concrete so bittersweet While driving in the backseat What's left of me Drowning in what feels just like an ocean Negativity is getting closer How to keep the heat when it gets colder, you know Sometimes everything just gets hard Sometimes everything just gets harder Feeling like I'm missing some parts Days just keep on getting much darker Um, Tuesday. It is now Friday. We've just finished work. Come to Ikea. Wow. I need to buy a tie actually. I don't think the tie is the thing they're trying to sell here. I think it's the organizer. But they sold me. On they the sold tie. you on the tie. Any of these shirts? Do you like any of these? No. It's kind of giving dad vibes. Yeah, they are. Honestly, something like this for a walk in wardrobe would be good. The lighting in here is good. I really like this. Yeah, I really like this good. setup. It would be so nice for doing makeup. With all the lights. Yeah. Love. Is that good? Yeah. 
Is that the same as that one? Mm. Just different color. We're at Ikea. I'm trying to find a new desk chair because I'm going to be working from home at least one day a week, if not more. Um, and I need like a good desk chair. But I also want cute, you know? You see my dilemma. This one's alright, but it just feels a little hard. I feel like Goldie looks too hard, too soft. I think it will suit like, we know which one you're going to get, right? The other it's one? The same, it's the same one as me. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is the one. Nick has the same one, but in black. And it actually did take my workspace to the next level. Did it? I, that, that's what it says. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's racing down. Wow, that's fast for you, babe. He's scared. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Text me back to my youth. <laughs> me and Jacqueline used to do that. I can only imagine. <laughs> Good morning you guys, happy Sunday. I feel like this vlog has been so disjointed. I was planning on vlogging all of the moving progress, but honestly we haven't really done, done that. We're gonna have a big day today. We've been so busy with work and honestly so exhausted after moving last weekend. We've just been like catching up on stuff. I've had so much footage to edit with all of the other moving vlogs. But today is the day. We're finally caught up. We have just stopped at Macca's because we wanted to try the new birthday cake latte look at this i don't really like cream it's actually probably my least favorite thing ever but <laughs> it's good that half of the thing is cream i, I was putting this on for you oh thanks babe we're gonna give it a, a little whirl i'm so curious like what's this gonna taste like i have no idea <laughs> I can't should see we do it at the same time i can't see it being bad no it is that's, actually, that's not as sugary as i thought it would be mm, she made it strong i like that it tastes like coffee. I'm not really getting much birthday cake. Yeah, it's just the, the red stuff that we're not drinking because we're... It literally just tastes like an ice latte. Which is not bad, to be fair. It doesn't even taste like a vanilla ice latte. It just tastes like straight ice yeah. latte. Okay, well, that was Ed Yeah, all the best team. I feel like that's what this whole vlog has been. I started off, you know, on Tuesday. I was like, yeah, we're going to unpack. We've got so many deliveries coming. We did have things delivered, which I'll update you guys on. Um, when we get home because yeah. the house is like slowly starting to come together we got our bed delivered our chairs delivered um so you have a proper dining setup for the first time in ages oh. but yeah we still have so much to do but i think we're going to break the back of it today yeah i haven't even unboxed my coffee machine that's when you know it's bad but we will do that today because i am struggling on the one coffee a day i know yeah. we actually just need to set it up and figure out how to use it and then we'll be sorted but we just haven't had time guys exactly. so um, yeah, we're gonna head into Big W. Have to go buy a new Dyson because ours accidentally broke. I broke it. I wasn't gonna say that. No, I know, but that's the truth. <laughs> I broke. I dropped. It, it was an accident, though. I dropped Honestly, it. Honestly, we'd had it for like what three or four years. Like, yeah, but we got our money as well. Yeah. He's pretty upset about it. Probably not the best day. <laughs> it was not a good. The next day. four things I want to buy, I'm not buying them because that's the cost of the Dyson. Wow, you have expensive taste. <laughs> four, four things, what a hundred dollars each? Yeah. <laughs> What about four things? Like shoes. Oh. Clothes. I'm planning to buy a couple of shoes. I want, I want some Nike Airs. Babe, you can, like, it's yeah. fine. Our house budget, we've spent so much less than we were expecting. We can probably afford the Dyson. It's on sale as well at Big W. So we're going to get that this morning. We also have stopped by at the old rental. I don't even want to get into it, but we have a couple of things that we need to fix up there. Um, it's just been a bit of a situation. We thought that it being taken over by a real estate at the end of our tenancy would actually be a good thing and I don't know if it is. But can I just say that when someone came to pick up the fridge, yeah, we had cleaned it and they asked... If, that was before I had clean, done the second no. clean as well, yeah. And they asked if anyone had ever lived there because it was so clean. Yeah, it looked brand new. And then the real estate sent through a list of 10 things that weren't clean enough. So that's a little bit inconsistent. She also said, please return your keys by 5 p.m. on this date, which was the end of our, like, when we said we would be ending our lease early. Which and so we, and we, like, uh, we, like, busted our ass. We busted our ass. We both were in the middle of work. We went there at lunchtime, dropped off the keys, and then I got a call from her the next day. Oh, you shouldn't have dropped off the keys. You should hold on to these until the lease tenant. takes over. Also, are we getting a new I'm tenant? getting mixed messages. <laughs> anyway. You're charged more rent you're advertising at a higher rate for rent like what is this Should anyway a little cool updates to come on that we'll <laughs> we were a little frustrated well, yeah, it's fine. Cool. We'll especially given how hot the rental market is right now people don't
don't have anywhere to live. Like, this should yeah. be rented sh almost immediately. Should have been done by now, yeah. I might, that's why I want to ring her. I'm really just wondering how the applications are going. Anyway, it's fine. It's nearly over. We're done. Big dub time? Big dubs. Let's go. Okay, we're back home now. We're finally going to open up our coffee machine that we've been putting off. Well, not putting off, but like holding off on opening because I wanted to unbox it with you guys and like really just test it out. I think there would have honestly been nothing worse than using it for the first time on like a Monday morning as we were rushing around to get ready for work and ending up with a bad coffee or like no coffee. So we're going to unbox it now, set it all up and... Um, give it a test run for this afternoon. I feel like I need another coffee. We've had quite the morning. Good news though, spoke to the real estate. They have leased out the house as of next week, which is stunning. Thank God for that. There's like a whole weight that's been lifted off our shoulders because it was a little, a little touch and go for a while there. But yeah, let's unbox this bad boy. Whoa. Filter basket, that was confusing. <laughs> Cleaning kit. This has a lot of parts. Nick's never made a proper coffee before. <laughs> oh my god, why is it so hard to get out? <laughs> Naturally, the first coffee beans we'll be using are from Espresso Frank. Ah, this is lit. Literally. <laughs> It's everything's lit up. I think it looks quite good. Yeah, it looks great. This I mean, little corner. I call this corner the grunt room. The grunt room? Why? You've got your coffee, you've got your tea, you've got some breakfast. This is the grunt room of the kitchen. I just came up with it and I don't think it's a very good name. <laughs> you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. This part goes um, up in here. Yeah, and that goes in there. No. amount dial to the three o'clock position as a starting point for the dose amount adjust towards less or more as required to adjust the dose amount so the cap on the supply temper is level <sighs> the it, top edge of the filter it's at three after tamping okay perfect um, oh is it a program two cup ah! i don't think that's meant, how it's meant to go I thought you used this <laughs> thing before. <laughs> Not for ages. <laughs> okay. Just lost half our coffee. This might be like the worst coffee you've ever had. The milk isn't like the best. But you've got froth. Actually, I mean, it's not the best coffee I've ever made, but. Thank you. It's really nice. <laughs> you love it? No, it is. Have a sip. Like Actually, not bad. Mm. The milk could be a bit hotter. Okay, guys. This is our third trial. Trial and error. I think we've gotten a bit better every time, which is good. Tastes good. It's like figuring out the grind size, how to actually use the machine. Mm. I, I can't believe I used to work as a barista. I made one. He made one. The man is the legend. Never touched a coffee machine in his I entire life. Have. Oh my gosh, I look like Edgar Allan Poe. I don't even know what Edgar Allan Poe looks <laughs> like. But I feel like that's what I look like. What does he look like? <laughs> is he bald? You know. Oh, I kind of do. I did look like him. No. <laughs> the coffee was a success though. It was. I just can't believe I used to work. But when I worked as a Starbucks barista, it was Starbucks in didn't Canada. You, didn't you? Um, Everything was like pretty much automatic. I felt like more of a potion maker than a coffee maker. But didn't you do it like... Um, at my last job? That's probably why I lost my job. I wasn't very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> She's hitting all the key metrics. Um, no, she is not good with the coffee machine. <laughs> I didn't love cooking and they really wanted someone that would cook. I feel like I could do a whole story time on my last employee. Yeah. I probably shouldn't, but I feel like I could. You certainly could, whether you should or not. I feel like they'd come find me and do something weird. Don't you think? They probably got like, I don't know, connections or something. Yeah, but I just don't think it was a bit. It was a cult, guys. It was a cult. <laughs> There's no two ways around it. Nice if we had, like, it is what it is, but if we had two more plugs there. Mm, 
Like in this spot here? Yeah, but like, it doesn't really matter. It's just like, I'm going to plug an air fryer in a second. And I'm going to have to unplug the kettle, which is like fine. Oh, no. no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, not the kettle. <laughs> that, it, <laughs> no, I agree. Yeah. But this, these are all the things that you learn after building a house or like living in your first house. Now, not that I'm thinking about our next house, <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Like there's things that we'll notice, I'm sure over the years we'll be like, oh, I wish good, that we yeah. had that. But it's a fantastic first time. We're so lucky. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I got an order of syrups from Kashmir Syrups. I've seen these on, I think, Facebook, Facebook ads before. We got the vanilla Irish cream. I just ordered their essentials box because it was like so much cheaper and the flavor sounded good. We've got hazelnut, just make our coffees, you know, a little bit more fun. The whole idea behind getting that coffee machine is to spend less money on buying coffee out. So if we have the syrups as well, we can make like some fun little beverages we've got a caramel a salted caramel and then this one i'm really excited about this takes me back to my starbucks days the white chocolate milk that would be good iced that would be really good iced and i think it was like 50 dollars for all six and they're pretty big like i don't like my coffee super super sweet so you just have a little splash of those that'll last eight yeah the leftover pizza that we made with capsicum, chicken, and paprika, and caramelized onion. We've got stuff going in the air fryer. Oh, it's all happening. the sun's starting to set but i thought i would show you guys the progress on our bedroom i'm actually so happy with how everything is coming together my whole intention or like the whole vibe of this room i really just want to create like a nice calming oasis somewhere that we can retreat at the end of the day and just feel like relaxed and at peace ultimately i'm not sure if i'll end up adding a little bit of color just to like make a bit more fun or if we'll do that in the guest bedroom I think that could be kind of fun and just keep this really like neutral I know that's not everyone's vibe I love a bit of color I do but to live in I just love this I love this so this is how we're looking it's not perfect I still need to touch a few things up I think I screwed that lamp in a little bit crooked so disregard that don't mind the temporary blinds they're all a little bit crinkle because we had some people come and silicone the windows and then we just restuck them up we have a couple of extra sets so we'll put those up we actually have our curtains being installed in a few weeks anyway so don't mind the paper <laughs> but this is the vibe cute this is the bed head that arrived on tuesday my dad helped us put it together it's the ellie bed from snooze i'll get up close so you guys can see it's like this beautiful textured material i love it I just think it looks so nice. It's really giving like hotel room vibes. These are our nightstands. I got these from Temple and Webster. We've actually had them sitting in our last rental for months, but obviously wanted to wait until we had our house. These are our lamps. Got these from Kmart. I think these are the, I want to say Hudson lamps, I'm pretty sure. Very pretty, love them. And yeah, it's all kind of starting to come together. I won't show the rest of the room because it's an absolute disaster, but at least this part looks good. They have these really nice deep drawers. Sunny is in there. And then a little shelf where they've put like our phone charger and stuff so we can tuck it away if we want it to look nice and tidy. I also just picked up this throw from Target. It was 20% off, so I was like, why not? I thought this would be nice to add a bit of texture to the bed. I know what my mom's gonna say. My mom's gonna say, I could have made you that. She loves her knitting and her crochet. <laughs> it's okay, mom. Oh gosh, it's heavy. Wow, that looks so nice. Okay. What do we think? Do we like? I really like. I think it just adds a little 
something. Like, yes, I want to have a lot of white and neutrals, but just texture, different textures, I think will make it interesting. I'm not sure if we should have a couple more pillows there. At the moment, we've just got these big European size pillows. These are from Kmart. And then this cute little one from Kmart as well. I don't know. I think a couple more pillows would be nice, but I haven't really seen any I like. Anyway, loving this. Also, maybe the first time in my entire life that I've actually had a bedside table. I feel very adult and I love it. Yay! Hi, you guys. It is now Tuesday. The Stanley is back and dare I say better than ever. They replaced this one for me because if you guys remember, mine broke and the handle was holding off. Holding off. Falling off. I can't speak today. It is almost four o'clock. I think this video is going to go live tonight. Um, I've just been editing away. I have been really finding it hard to vlog in amongst all of the chaos that is still like going on around the house, especially outside. There's just like a lot of loud noises, a lot of people. We still don't have all of our blinds and our curtains and stuff. So I don't know. It's just been a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Fortunately, all of the landscaping should be finished by the end of this week, which is great. All they have left to do is seal the driveway and the concrete and then we're done. And then there's like a few touch ups around the house, but majority of stuff is done. The garden is starting to really look like a garden. I'll show you guys. Got some plants in the garden. The grass is going down tomorrow or like by the end of this week. Um, yeah, it's all starting to come together, which is really exciting. Our house, like the inside is starting to come together as well. You guys have obviously seen little snippets. I feel like I haven't done the best job of like document, but this just whole week has been so disjointed. Um, but it's starting to come together. We've got our dining room, just waiting on our couch, waiting on our TV unit as well. Our bedroom is probably the best, most complete thing. I really don't have anything to add to it. Maybe a little bit of color. I don't know, I'm vibing the neutrals though. I really am vibing the all white, beige aesthetic which i know not everyone loves and finds really boring but i just really like it as i said i just think it's a nice like little oasis we've got our lamp the kitchen's unpacked and organized our guest bedroom set up i just need to find a duvet cover that i like my office though is a big project i'm actually going to be starting to work from home this week so i need to really figure that out i think my dad's going to come over tomorrow and help with a couple of things he's like the best honestly don't know what we would have done without him during this moving process but He's definitely made it a lot easier. Yeah, it's starting to come together. I don't think I should probably showed you guys our dining table. Well, I showed you the dining table, but not the chairs. We finally have the dining table of my literal dreams. I showed you guys the table in my last moving vlog. This is from Freedom. I think it's the Flynn table and it extends out to like a three meter table so you can fit 10 people around it. And then these are the chairs that came. I got these from Temple and Webster. I will have them linked down below in case anyone is interested. But I absolutely love them. The quality as well is really, really good, especially for the price. I just think they look so nice. And I think this will tie in really nicely with our couch when it arrives. But yeah, obsessed. They're also really comfortable as well. But our bar stools, sorry, it's really gray and gloomy in here. It's like not the nicest weather outside. But our bar stools are in here. We've got the little black that ties in with the black coffee machine. I'm going to introduce other little black accents throughout. Don't mind the washing. And here's what the outside's looking like. They're getting ready to put the grass down. We've got plants all along here. Water tank obviously isn't staying here. That's gonna be hooked up, I think, this week as well. We've got our clothesline outside. They added the extra fence as well, because that was really short, just with the way the foundation was. I think it'll look really, really nice once it's all done. And for those of you that are following along at home with the whole key debacle, basically the first day that we got in here, we finally had our keys, like so much build up, so much adrenaline like we'd literally been waiting 18 months for this moment we go to open the front door key doesn't work does it basically a long story short they hadn't set up the locks properly the way it works with building and i don't know if this is like common knowledge i actually had no idea this was a thing but when you're building a house the builder will have a master key and i don't know if they they must be able to access like all of the buildings that they're working on with this one key because that would make sense, right? The builder's key can get into all of the houses that they're building. I think that's how it works. I don't know, don't quote me. <laughs> and then as soon as the owner uses their new key, the master key won't work. So the way it should have worked is that the first time we used our owner's key, the master key should have stopped working. And it just didn't happen like that. So 
we've been not using the sliding door the builder actually gave us his key to use so we can actually use our front door and like the garage and stuff um he dropped them around on the saturday that we were moving in but we've been just like using one key basically for the last week week and a half has it been a week how long have we been here what's the day it's been over a week it's literally been a week and a half what is life wow I don't know where this week has gone, honestly. The locksmith finally came today, fixed it up. All of our keys are working. It's a good time to be alive. Also, don't think I showed you guys, but we got our blinds installed. Our curtains at the front of the house aren't being done for the next few weeks, but the blinds in the back are in. This is what they look like. Nothing crazy, nothing too exciting, honestly. We just went with vertical blinds that match our paint. So it all kind of, when they're closed along, it just looks like one big, wool really um yeah actually really happy with them this room gets a lot of sunlight which is fine right now but i know in summer we'll really need them so yeah just got the same across here as well and then upstairs we just have our roller blinds installed in like the same color i think those are all the house updates obviously we still have a lot to do a lot of exciting updates to come we actually have some really exciting stuff in the works which i can't wait to share with you guys and yeah a lot of unorgan unorganizing organizing and unpacking still to do we have a lot of boxes um that still need to be unpacked and things that we want to do around the house upgrades that we want to make furniture that still needs to be delivered my office that still needs to be organized a lot still to do but it's starting to come together it's really starting to feel like home for so long we've pulled up to this house to like stop by and see the progress and now we like pull up and it's our house it's so surreal it's like the best we're absolutely loving it even with all these people around our house and all these loud noises which has definitely interrupted like our everyday living but it's just so nice to be here but yeah, I think I'm gonna end off this vlog here because I really wanna get this vlog up tonight for you guys. I have had so much content and so much footage to edit through. I feel like I'm finally starting to catch up, which is nice. Um, so yeah, plenty more vlogs to come, lots of exciting updates, and I can't wait to bring you guys along. Thank you so much for all of your love and support on these videos and just like this chapter in our life. It really means so much to Nick and I. And yeah, I just love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye guys. Do just what you want.